Sakai's forums tool is designed to manage structured anytime discussions among members of your course website. It can further be used to facilitate discussion assignments or peer review assignments among your students, or just to manage correspondence between you and your learners as they study from a distance. General discussions in particular can be useful in that they allow you to post general info about the course, thus saving you the trouble of responding to questions multiple times by email or during class lectures, as it's then possible for you to refer back to one of your posts within the forum. Note that the forum's tool is not a default tool within Isaac Sakai, and it thus must first be enabled when you gain access to your new course website. As you can see, that's already been done in this course site, so let's take a look. The forums make use of a hierarchy that helps to keep things visually organized. At the top of the hierarchy is the forum itself, which is displayed in a yellow rectangular space and can contain a number of topics. Next in the hierarchy are the topics, which can contain a number of discussions, the place that you and your students will actually post your content. This can seem a little confusing at first, so to help, Sakai generates automatically a default forum as well as a default topic. Note that there are not yet any posts within this forum, so as a demonstration, let's create one. And we do so by clicking the name of the topic in which we would like to make our post. And on the next page, we click Start a New Conversation. And this functions a lot like creating an email. We start by creating a title. As well as a little bit of content. As you can see, we do have the ability to add attachments, but at this time I don't think I'll need to. And so when I'm done, I click Post. We can see that our first discussion has been posted here, who it's been authored by, and when it was created. And if we go back one page, we can see again that one message has been pasted within the general discussion topic, which, as we noted before, was within the Sakai build forum. If we're unhappy with having just one topic within our forum, we can of course create another, and we do so by clicking the new topic option So we start by adding a title, and as well, a little bit of basic information that'll appear just below the title. And optionally, a longer description that students will need to expand in order to view. You'll note that we also have the ability to add attachments here. It might be useful in some cases to attach a reading or a template or otherwise some instructions that would allow your students to make their posts if you feel that that's necessary. As we move down the configuration page, we can see that there are also a number of other options. Uh, the moderate topic option, for example, allows you to first see posts made by your students before they actually become live within the conversation itself. You also have the ability to uh, specify when uh, a topic is going to be visible to your students. The default option is to make it available immediately. And then there are a number of different permission settings that you can enable. Note that by default, students will have contributor status, which means that they will able to post, uh, but they will certainly not be able to delete any of their posts or those of anybody else. When we're done with our configurations, we click Save. And we can see that the Chapter 1 discussion has been created uh, within the Sakai Build forum. If we would like to sort of reconsider how our forums are organized, we can of course create another forum, and we do so by returning to the forum homepage, and then clicking New Forum. And this functions a lot like creating a new topic. Uh, we'll need to create a title. Optionally, uh, also a description. Uh, short description and a longer description here. 
Similarly, we can add attachments. We can choose when the forum will be visible to, the, to your students and as well, any sorts of special permissions that you would like to add. So as you can see, we've added a new forum. At the moment, there are no topics within it. So as I noted previously, students will not yet be able to see this forum. They'll continue to be able to see the Sakai build forum here but not the new assignment one discussion until we create a topic within it. So we do that by creating new topic and then choosing a title. And if there are no further configurations or customizations, we'll click save. So now students will have the ability to post within the week two topic that we've created in the assignment one forum, as well as all of the previous content within the Sakai build forum. If you plan to create a great many new forums and topics within your forums tool, it might be worthwhile to modify your site's template settings. And these are available at the top of the forums tool. And this will ensure that any new forums and any new topics will inherit any customizations that you have. Uh, one example would be that if you want your students to have the ability to edit their own messages and potentially delete their own messages. So now, if we go back one, we'll see that students now have custom permissions and any new forums and any new topics that we create, these permissions will automatically be added to that. But note that they will not be retroactively applied to any of the existing forums or topics that we have in place. If you intend to use the forums tool for grading your assignments, you can use the statistics and grading option near the top of the page. And this allows you to look at uh, the posts by the students in your course and of course also by those with the instructor level permissions in, in your course and we do so by clicking the name of the of the submitter and we generate a list of all of the posts in my case there's only been one so far and if we would like to review the post itself we can click the link For further assistance or advice on using the forums in your course website, please contact the Center for Pedagogical Innovation at Brock University. Thanks for watching.